Welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate in Ents Edition. Last time, uh, we recruited Baconia. We recruited, uh, no, not Jaira. Nira. Uh, we Stay killed the this Silky, but I restarted my saves to see, uh, to show you, uh, something that you can do is when you talk to them, they give you one potion of defense. If you have an ice, uh, eye pickpocketing teeth, uh, uh, they can steal uh, one potion each, and then you can talk to them and get four potion. I don't have a good teeth that can pickpocket. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the next You're best right. thing, and we're gonna go on a murder train. Murder! All aboard a murder train. Salt. And that's it. Sometimes murder pays off. And plus, we didn't suffer the reputation loss that we uh, would have suffered if we did it uh, for Silky. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. So we're going to take everything from them. I'm going to take Nira to get the gems. So uh -huh. Nira has uh, the gem, uh, the gem bag that I'll do I showed you in the last episode, and I'm gonna show you some uh, where to get a uh, similar item, but for scrolls. So we're gonna have a gem bag, and we're gonna have a scroll case. Go on then, sort it. So what we want to do is uh, I want to uh, rest, and I'm gonna. Make uh, Nira learn a uh, memorize identification spell because uh, that's a good thing. That's a good thing to have for your mage identify because it costs like a, if you don't have a mage with identify, it costs you like a hundred gold per thing. Lower level, a hundred gold is pre it's a pretty hefty sum. Higher level, you don't care. But hey, if you can save save yourself a hundred gold, why why not do it? So we're you gonna rassalted. rest. You want some whiskey? Go on then. So we're gonna give uh, items to Nira. Uh, this item I won't uh, identify it because it's a cursed item. Even though, even if I identify it, uh, it won't be uh, worth that much. So we're gonna give her that. We're gonna give her that. We're gonna give her everything that's blue. If it's blue, it goes to Nero now. So one thing I want to do first uh, is identify this ring. Why? I should have done that before the mace, uh, anyways. But this may, uh, this ring, what I told, it's an extra first level spell. No, it's not an extra first level spell. It's more OP than that. It's double the amount of first level wizard spell. So if you have two first level wizard spell slots, well, now you got four. If you got four f uh, first level uh, wizard spells, well, now you got eight. So. And so on and so forth. So pretty OP for mages. So we're gonna give that to Nira, and we're gonna put uh, everything in, in identification. Now my mouse is acting up. Uh, I voila. So what I got. I still time? got one charge. So I'm gonna identify this myself, and I'm gonna give that to my fighter. Uh, I might give that to the other fighter because the other fighter uh, you'll, you'll see you'll see why you'll see. so uh, I'm gonna rest for a while I'm gonna I'm gonna identify everything uh, off screen and then I'm gonna s get you back here be right back so uh, I'm not done with the identify identification stuff, but uh, sometimes uh, Nira or Dorn or Rasad they will speak to your character 
a la Baldur's Gate 2. Baldur's Gate 2, they do that uh, also. They added that in, in its edition because for plot plot device or character development, so you know their past and their personal quests and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. So now, uh, Nira, uh, she, since she's adventuring with, with us, she will open. Uh, she will open to us. So we're gonna say, uh, if you dare to cross my path, now you know how it feels to travel with a powerful protector. Oh, I'm sure the brilliant light of your ego keeps death away at night. Yeah, I'm starting to forget why I've thrown in with you. Come on, Maybe girl. We should just abandon this whole trip and head back to High Forest. High Forest? Is that where you come from? That's me. Damn, Born girl. In the thicket. At least until my mistakes piled up high enough to come crashing down on me. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna be like friendly with her. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna say well, well mistakes I can guess be corrected. Me out, but they would have if I'd stayed. So what exactly happened? A maiming or two, if you don't count the second degree burn. Completely accidental, and everybody lived. Well, at least I'm pretty sure everybody lived. So surely it wasn't your fault. What happened? During our magical training. We were supposed to summon a sphere of fire. And mine got away from me somehow. One moment I was concentrating, the next moment my classmates were rolling on the floor screaming. Perhaps your poor teachers are the one to blame. No, I did it. It was my fault. Accident or not, I should have been more careful. I could have taken responsibility or fetched a bucket of water. Instead, I ran away, terrified of what I'd done. Well, I can't understand why you might panic in that situation. Mm-hmm. So you ran. All right. I took to wandering High Forest, but I kept running into the wrong people and doing the wrong thing. Eventually, Turlang the tree and grabbed me and said, "Take For a sure, hike." For sure, you run away. It's uh, not in those words exactly. Running away from your problem is a good way to solve them. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna say an interesting tell. I would like to hear more sometimes. All right, then I'll yank on your ear when I'm ready to gab some more. And this is like the little tidbit. So we're I'm gonna go off screen again, identify my stuff, and come back at ya. So we're back. So uh, I decided to uh, identify the curse girdle. So it's a curse girdle of masculinity, femininity. So uh, it changed your your gender when you wear it, and it can only be removed by a remove curse spell. So that's that. So and we got a uh, quarter staff plus one. So we're gonna give that baby to Jaira. So Jaira here. Now you got a brand new staff. So hey, I'm not done. So I got a dagger plus one that I'm gonna give to Imwen. I'm gonna give her that dagger. Science. Uh, uh, even though she has a bow. Uh, you don't want your ranged character without a melee weapon because you get uh, p penalties when you're in melee when you have no melee weapon and you're on only a ranged weapon. So that's a good idea to give uh, your uh, other character, well, your ranged character, a melee weapon. So I got uh, cold resistance plus 100. Uh, well, the belt of Antipo. So it gives my, it gives me a hundred percent cold resistance. So that means I nullify cold. Base spell, but I take double damage from fire base spells. Uh, in my memory, if my memory serves well, uh, there's no cold base spell in the first game. So this girl is. It's not good. It's not a good girl. So we're gonna sell that girl. But this girl, though, this is pretty awesome. Uh, it gives us an uh, armor class of plus three versus missiles and piercing attacks. So that means uh, like everything that uh, is range 
actually, and even the it's piercing attacks. Piercing attacks, I, th I think daggers counts toward piercing attacks, and I think spears also counts toward that. So we're going to give that to, uh, or Berserker, since he doesn't have a shield, so that's going to help him. So now he has uh, a minus 2 to AC, but uh, he has a plus 3 AC. If there's a missile attack, so he's going to be at minus 5 for missiles and piercing attack, which is pretty awesome. Speed. So we're done with the end. So what I did also off screen nice is I uh, changed power. the spells for my Viconia. So she now has two Cure Light Wound spells. She has a Remove spell, uh, Fear spell that is pretty damn uh, uh, good. Very useful spell, and she has uh, armor of fate. Armor of fate means that uh, she will she will take five percent less damage, and every five levels she will she will get another five percent. Uh, the thing is, in Baldur's Gate one, uh, you will only get the ten percent uh, less damage. It's not impressive, but it comes a long way. In the second game, it's like a must-have spell because your cleric can get can get to level forty. So at level 40, you're th you're you you have like a uh, eight times five. Uh, no, yeah, eight times five. So you get like uh, what? Wait, I suck at math. So it's 25 for the the level 20. It's a 50% resistance for when you're level 40. 50% resistance is pretty damn good, if you tell me. Sorry, I might I Matt fell. Rang. So we're gonna go right, out of this inn right, and we're going to go in this inn. Like uh, what I uh, what I wanted to do uh, last episode, but I'm gonna show you uh, how to uh, do it uh, smart. We're gonna we're gonna play smart. So we're gonna do we're gonna do. I'm gonna put uh, Khalid over here. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna put my You're range characters. I don't want my range character being. Uh, so I'm gonna let Piconia here, and I'm gonna it. go by myself. Just by myself. I'm on it. You're at the end oh. of the rope, I'll wager. Oh my God, this guy. So this guy wants to kill me. Like everyone wants to kill me nowadays. So I'm gonna say, I hope you will to back up those words. Yeah, come on. Like I'm an half orc berserker. What 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 you gonna do, man? What you gonna do, bro? Oh, okay. Come here. Come here, cuz I'm waiting for you. Haha. <laughs> oh shit, Khalid, don't. No, Khalid. Khalid. All right, Khalid. Fuck it. Come on, Khalid. Oh, we're a failure. Yeah, that's right. No, 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 Nira. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't hurt Nira. Meanie. Boom! Right in the backside, man. No, no, Nira. Nira. Yeah! We got him. You right. Well, that went I'm okay, I guess. Okay, it, can, it could have been worse. So, we're gonna take the gold. And we're gonna also take his, uh, his little, little note. So, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Now, now the bounty has increased. 250 coins of gold now for my head. Mm. Someone wants me dead. I don't. Oh, I wonder who. Go on. Wonder I'm who. on it. Plot device. So. Uh. Oh yeah. We're gonna keep. We're gonna go back to him. And we're wait. Uh, what you want? I'm gone. Come here. I need you. So I want you to pickpocket. I hope I'm not being seen. I don't want to be seen. Okay. Okay. Spit sorted. Come here. All right. Open it. Eh, I got that gold. Sorted. Never uh, just if you get caught stealing, well, they will call the guard for nine gold. So nine gold uh, is not worth getting called about. Yeah, things. Are so this is perdu or perdu. So. Oh, you, you saw someone at dog's head, huh? Oh, you mean a, I mean a gnoll. 
Uh, this this reminds me of one of my uh, one of my campaigns in in D and D. Uh, one of my friends, uh, well, my my friend gamer uh, gamer Zenshu. Uh, we played a barbarian in my campaign of World of Warcraft, and he was always like, "We're we're let's say we're fighting kobolds." He's like, "Oh man, I hate yules." And one of my friend was like, "It's it's they're kobold. Oh, they're such same thing." And then we're we're now we're fighting yules. He's like, oh, "I hate kobolds." We're like, hey, you, you, you never understood, huh? Like, it's, it's, they're gnolls now. Oh, I hate those too. <laughs> what's, what's funny? So, never liked them myself. So, all right. Yeah, you got yourself a deal. Go on, then. So, we're gonna get a little cap for his uh, short sword, which uh, Njol stole from him. But we're gonna do that later. It. Yep, I'm gone. Sorry. So let's see what we're gonna go in a thief. Thieving spree. All right. So it is locked. Yeah, it is. Yay! Give me 21 gold. I never played a. I never played a thief in D&D. I played uh, some clerics. I also played uh, a, barbar a barbarian. Salty. I played a monk, and uh, I played uh, a bard. A bard was awesome. Right. The bard was, the bard was pretty awesome. And the fifth edition bard are pretty I OP. I am gone. So it was fun. I like bards. Bard, if you're, you, you got to be good at role playing to play a bard. If you're not good at role playing, don't play a bard. If you like smashing stuff and stuff like that, a bard is not for you. Some awesome class that uh, that you can also play is a paladin. Paladins are pretty awesome. I mostly play fifth edition, so I like fifth edition a lot. The uh, the revamp the system. It's uh, better than fourth edition. I know fourth edition got some uh, some bad rap it around it. So. I'm on it. But fifth edition, they they got back to their roots for tr of 3.5, and but they sorted. They um, augmented it like they uh, improved upon it. So pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Right, what's this then? So, uh, what you can do also is uh, we could take uh, Garrick and just strip him of his stuff and then just dismiss him. But we're, go we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. So, we're going to explore Barragost. Uh, there's a lot of things to do in Barragost. Alright. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk to the town crier because he has a quest for us. Oh, you don't say. 5,000 gold? Where do I sign up? Where where do I sign up? You rassalted. Yeah. So you're 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 you read right. 5,000 gold. But this guy is not a pushover. So we're not going to do it to do him. Uh, we're not going to kill him now. But later. Later we will. So what we're gonna do is, uh, I think, is this, this is this the house? It's a hard to find. Oh yeah, this is a uh, or good friend Elvenair, uh, the one you, the one we saw in the um, in the candle keep that he wanted the scroll. So now he wants the history of the fateful coin. It's a book. So you have go we have two ahead. choices right now. We have a choice of buying the book or what what, what we'll do right, what's this, uh? is we're going Salted. to. Get it inside a bookshelf over here. Uh, where's your, where's the door? Where's the door? Ah, the door is here. No, not, not, not your said. door. I'm on it. I don't want, I don't want your door. It's over here. Ah, yeah. Those buildings. Is it here? Yeah. I'm on it. It's here. So, and plus you can take it without repercussion. So, yeah, we got... The history of the faithful coin. Ah, here it is. I'm you don't need to buy it. The, you can buy it for one gold. So, if 
you don't want to be like if you want to be a goody two shoe and you're you're rope playing that way uh the inn next door uh, the inn right across the street they sell it for a gold i'm on it so what we're gonna do it's is to we're gonna talk to him and he will Good give us save the day. a scroll case pretty useful item we can put uh, scrolls in there and he gave us uh, a book a book of uh of the history of the tetra i won't read it but like if you want to uh it's a little foreshadowing though so if you want to uh to read it like you can pause the video and you will be able to read it so here we go Spit it out. now we can around here there's a lot of things that Go you can Ryan take and plus right what's this then he won't attack us if like he's okay with us you like rang. stealing everything from him sorted so that's awesome yay hooray for elven hair i'm on it there's also a trick that i uh i don't know how to do it but if you speak to him like 30 times he's supposed to give you 300 gold but i like I didn't get it to work, so if people know how to do it, let me know. Go on then. Right, what's this then? Sorted. So let's go to the hidden next door. This is the hidden next door that I was talking about. If you want to uh, to buy the it's through the faithful coin. So we're gonna go in the hidden yeah, next no, door. Oh. I don't like your type in here. What? I didn't do anything to you, man. <laughs> you tell him, Marl. Come so on. Come on, man. So, you talking to me? there's two ways you can deal with this guy. Uh, there's a way that you will fight him, and there's a way that you can talk yourself out of a fight. And this is the most rewarding... Uh, answer to this to this to this quest like if you want to have the most of this quest you need you, you don't want to fight Marl so what 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 you want to answer is one the first one and then again the first one then you take the third one again the third one and then the first one Hey, what up? You got, we got 900 XP, and we didn't fight the guy. Spit Sometimes that. pays to not fight someone. Sorted. So over here, uh, this is uh, the patron of the inn. Uh, there's nothing upstairs. I went there in my test run, so there's nothing upstairs to loot. So here you go. I'm gonna just gonna show you that he has uh, the history of the fable. Oh, it's two gold. My bad. It's not one gold, but it's two gold. Uh, I'm gonna sell the potion of agility. Uh, this guy also uh, buys your um, your jewelry and your gems. So we're gonna do we're gonna do this. So I'm gonna do this uh, off screen, and then I'm gonna get back to you guys when all all my things are done. Be right back. So we're back. So now we right. we have uh, almost 2,000 gold. That's pretty awesome. Uh, for uh, like a good thing that I identified the uh, curse girdle because the curse girdle actually you can sell it for 100 gold. So don't use an identification from a temple for 100 gold because you're not gonna gain gold. But if you use an identification spell or a, an identification scroll. Well, you can get like a hundred gold for free, so eh, not too shabby. At this at at this point of the game, we need all the gold we can get. So we're we're gonna give uh, the scrolls to Nira because she can uh, use the scrolls and copy mage. So if you see your you have scrolls and you give that to your mage and it is green, that means she doesn't have it or he doesn't have it in uh, is spell book and you can just right click and write magic and they're going to, to, to have it in your spell book 
just a point if you're playing with the core rules there's gonna be uh, a lot of times that you will fail your scribing so you need to save your game every time you scribe or if you have low intellect also right now we have a high intellect mage don't think there will be any problem with scribing spells so we're gonna write magic write magic even though it's their low level spells it gives you 10 XP per spell. Go on, it's not that much, but in the second game, it's gonna give you a thousand XP per spell. So we're gonna go. Ahead. We're gonna get out. Salted. And we're gonna go recruit another party member or second frontliner. So now you're gonna tell me, hey, gamer Glacken, we got six party members right now. Like, where are you going to put the other party member? I'm going to show you what, what I'm going to do with the other party member. Alright. So, Khalid, strip naked, please. Yes. Yes, you, Khalid. Yes. I'm going to take this from you. Take this from you. I'm going to take this from you. Take this from you. Uh, can you take this? Yes, you can take this. Alright. So, Khalid. Die! And he's dead. So, ah, oh, he died, and you killed him. Also, you were attacking him. All right. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. We're gonna reform. And a cool trick is if, if you have uh, like a couple, like a couple of characters, and they're always together. There's also always like going to be a good character and a dead weight so what you want to do is remove the dead weight but you don't want to remove the cool character so what you want to do is kill the dead weight and then remove him now, now the cool character sticks with you I'm on it so now we got Kagan greetings I am Kagan so, what can I do for you? Kagan has a shop. So, like, oh, what kind of what kind of shop you have? Huh? You got? Huh? So awesome, man! Caravans. Uh, sir, sure. We always need more money. Huh? Mercenaries, you say now? Hmm. You got mercenaries. Well, I want to. I want to see the money up front, though. Oh, thirty gold per head. Uh, it sounds cheap, but yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. So, yay, we got Kagan. So, yeah, Kagan is a fighter, and he has a whooping 20 constitution. 20 constitution in this game means that um, he has regen. Like, yeah, his HP regen. So, what, what that means is that uh, you won't see it like in the open field and stuff like that but you're gonna see it when uh, you travel from map to map when you travel from map to map so it's like an eight hour trip you will see if Kagan was like at like at say half health he will be full health when you travel that's because it's regeneration so it's pretty cool the only thing about Kagan is it's 12 dexterity so that means if I'm gonna show you Go pester uh, someone else. Like what? Uh, I don't want to talk. Wait, six armor class. Oh well, now now he has a stud leather armor, but still six I armor class. Now. So what we want to do with Kagan? Uh, now people will say, yeah, but if he has six armor class, and he's a fighter, why 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 are you taking him? Because there's a an item that can fix his condition of. Six armor class, and when we get this item, well, you will be a freaking good fighter. You right. So we're gonna take Kagan. So for his quest, Salted. pretty easy. We will get out of this of uh, Baragost. So we're gonna do this for quick, quick, quicker travel. Is 
drafting. Where's Kagan? What are, what are you doing, Kagan? Come on, Kagan. Oh my god, Kagan. It's war, that's why he's, uh, he's slow. Come on. Come on, Kagan. Go on. All right, Salted. let's go. All right, so we're going to travel over here. Go past us somewhere. And, oh, and we did his quest. Spit it out. That was, was easy like that. <laughs> right, what's this say? This quest is pretty easy, so that's why I wanted to do it. So we're going to finish. Um, Salted. Checking out Baragos. We're almost done with Baragos. I don't know if I'm pro pronouncing Baragos right or wrong, but I'm going to pronounce Baragos. So it's going to be over here. We're going to. We're going to. We got a couple of other buildings that we want to check out. And afterwards, we can go onwards to adventure. So we're going to go over here. So my party will be pretty much evil in this playthrough gonna be um, and I'm gonna try to make like what, what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right, have a uh, evil party in the first game and then I'm gonna be a good uh, I will have a good party in the second game the second game at uh, Thorn is there but there's another party member that I really like and Minsk is way better in the second game than in the first game. I, I love Minsk in the second game. And Jaira is way better in the second game than in the first game. There's a lot of there's a lot of things that's better in the, in the second game than in the first game. So uh, this is uh, the house of the lady that had uh, that had uh, a spider problem. So what we're gonna do is uh, right click, uh, double click on your we're gonna double click our potion. We're gonna give two potions to every of our um, of our frontliners. So, Kagan, you get two potions. Yay! Uh, we're gonna give maybe a potion of defense to Kagan because I think he's gonna he's gonna use it. Yes, sir. Drink the potion, Kagan, please. So. Now he has three because his armor class got down because of the potion. So that's cool. Go so on, what what, what, what we want to do? I'm we're gonna done, keep uh -huh. more um, more uh, squishies. May darkness prevail. My so what we want to do? Put Kagan. Yeah, why you? <laughs> also, may darkness okay, I'm gonna put this prevail. All right. But wish me luck, guys. Going in. That's what she said. Alright! Right, what's this? Cool. Alright, so use rage. Go on, man. Okay, come on, come on. It's gonna be it's gonna be a tough fight. No 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 Viconia! Viconia! Uh, ah, use your use your potions! Yes! Double up! Yes! Okay, that went well. That went pretty well. It could have been bad. So M1 got a level, so we're gonna level her up. Just level up. Uh, she has uh, 25 skill points to put. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put everything in fine traps. Everything in fine traps. You want to have a good fine traps. You want I want to have a hundred fine traps as soon as possible. Spit it out. So Salted. the spiders. We're gonna loot the spider. There's a spider over here. Ah, to the mouse. All right, right. so right, we're gonna go a... inside out. Go on, I'm on it. Because uh, remember, she wanted to have her boots and her ball of wine, and I'm full. <laughs> so no, no, that's not a problem. We're just gonna give stuff to uh, to everyone. 
So, yeah, that's yours now. Oh, that's yours now. Oh, oh, I guessed it. That's yours. That's yours. Inventory 101. Right, Alright, so I'm gonna get, get this you elf, uh, this gem. Right, what's this at? Right, what's this at? So now we got the quest for the spiders done. I'm gonna go to the last place I want. The jovial juggler. So here, you I'm get some it. quest again. Talk to this guy. Yes. This guy is a paladin, Bjornin. Uh, he wants us to kill half ogres. Hmm. Go on then, sort it. Uh, if you have a eye pickpocketing thief and you don't want to do this quest, just you can pickpocket this reward if you don't want to do his quest. I I don't. Timber, but if you have it, without ye bother it's there. So he lost his cloak in Cloakwood. <laughs> How ironic. Oh, come on, jerk. So, there's nothing upstairs again. Nothing of value. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the friendly arm in off screen. And I'm going to give back the quest, the spider quest. So, be right back. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you. Uh, I traveled to the Friendly Arm Inn, and we saw that Kagan had, like, lost some HP. Now he got it back, and I didn't rest anything at all, because you see that Viconia got art. So that, that's what I said, 20 Constitution, Regen, OP. <laughs> so let me get to the, the quest giver in Friendly Arm Inn, and I'll be right back. So we're here. So we're near, uh... Landrin. A stout hammer will fix most any bandage. So yay, hey. We got your spider problem. So hit 120 gold. We're gonna speak to you her again. Get better than the stability and stone walls provide. Okay, yeah, that's a stout hammer will oh, fix hey, most hey. any bandage. So I got we got a, a hefty sum. So we got like 120 plus 100 and a 75 gold. I think you that's enough. Than the stability stone yeah. walls you right. So, uh, we finished with Baragoth. So next time, what we're going to do? Are we going to explore? Yeah, we'll, go, we'll, we'll surely explore. But are we going to go to Nashkel? Are we going to go somewhere else? So stay tuned for the other episode of Let's Play Baldur's Gate. Immense edition. See ya, folks.